Al, Steph, back over to you. All right, thank you so much, Maria. Hey, holiday travel almost on us. That means you're probably getting ready to hit the road, and if you're driving in a big city like L.A., D.C., Philly, Houston, San Luis, even Cleveland, you know about smog. Yeah, those thick pea suit mornings are not good for anyone's health, but the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff found some scientists trying to beat the problem on this morning's Behind the Science. Now that's Becky Schwantes. She admits she's obsessed with smog. What is it? Where does it come from? How to get rid of it? Becky, her professor, and her team have just built this. We're in the smog chamber um, at Caltech. The smog chamber is two plastic bubbles in a sealed room. This is kind of like LA's air in here. Yeah, so yeah. we're basically simulating a very controlled atmosphere. You'll see on the walls there are dozens of lights. Now, if you were in here when those lights turn on, you would end up with a nasty sunburn. Yeah, they're very similar to tanning lights. Okay. And this will affect the chemistry inside the bag. Now, once we're safely outside, Becky can turn on the lights and fill those bubbles with almost any nasty chemical she wants. And then we can study how these, um, how smog forms in that atmosphere. See, smog is much more than just smoke and fog. Basically, we'll photolyze H2O2 to generate OH radicals, and OH radicals... Oh, my head is spinning. Too much, okay. <laughs> so... Okay, it takes three things to create smog. You mix normal city air with a part of tailpipe pipe smoke called nitrogen oxide or NOx. When you cook those two in sunlight, it turns into smog. NOx, air, and the sun. Those three things are right here inside this mirrored box. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to understand, the specific reactions that occur and how smog is exactly formed. At Caltech, this smog project is just getting started. For the scientists who work here, it is worth the $35 million it costs to build the lab. Also, it's important in understanding uh, pollution that affects our air quality. They want to know how smog affects the lungs and create a new understanding that could shape future environmental laws. Do you think you'll ever learn how to take a smoggy city and make it not smoggy? Yeah, I mean, you can do certain things like driving less. So it's the hard answer. Yeah, it's it's the, the hard easy. answer is the way to go. Yeah. Reduce way. your emissions and you'll have less smog. At Caltech, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. That is pretty cool. That is cool, but nothing's easy. Getting rid of smog, getting rid of weight. Nothing that's really good comes easy, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Coming up on Wake Up With Al, a nation divided this Tuesday. That's right. Uh, divided by temperature, we'll share who's shivering and who's warm.